I am Dr. Candy Worley. I am the principal here at Francis Howe Union High School. Our mission statement is that we want all students to be able to learn and we want to be able to prepare them uh, for 21st century skills and so that they can go out into the workforce and you know be ready to be productive citizens and also um, we work very hard to prepare them for college. Most of the time a student comes to Francis Howe Union because they are credit deficient. Most of the time. Sometimes students come here because they feel that their larger comprehensive high school, either Francis Howe Central, Francis Howe North, um, or Francis Howe High School, that um, it's too big for them and they kind of get lost. Uh, sometimes they feel like uh, they've been bullied by a couple different kids and they just want a fresh start, a new place to start over. Uh, they come here sometimes because of family issues that have happened in their lives. Sometimes there's uh, other issues even within the student, some sickness within the student. Every once in a while we get some kids that have social anxiety and they like to come here because they know that they um, are very well taken care of here, that there are different places that they can go and people that can help them, where sometimes in a larger school it's just so very large and there's so many people and so many kids that it's kind of harder to get that individualized help. The way we take students here at Francis Hall Union is it's through an application process. Students fill out an application at their home school through their counselor and then those applications are sent over here to Francis Howe Union and then we go through those applications based on need. So the very first students we would take is a second time senior, a student who very desperately needs to be here to graduate, and then we look at the seniors, and then juniors, and then sometimes some sophomores. The teachers are who decides who gets into Francis Howe Union and we ask a series of questions. Um, also as part of the interview process we look at attendance and we look at behavior. So here we have a block schedule. We have 75 minute class periods and they have four classes a day. The other incredibly interesting thing is that they, the kids here change courses every nine weeks. A student here has a day where they have a blended curriculum. They have part of their day is spent doing credit recovery courses and then the other part of their day is spent doing courses similar to what they would get at their regular comprehensive high school like direct instruction courses. And so we try as hard as we can to provide the same academic education to our students that the other high schools provide. Pre-Missouri Options is for juniors. It is for the student who um, has tried Francis Howe Union High School and they realize uh, early on that they need 24 credits and they have such a long journey ahead of them um, that it just seems too far away. And so a lot of times we'll have a discussion about Pre-Missouri Options and a lot of times a student will think that might be the program for them. And so what they do is they have to have three courses and then they also have to then prepare themselves to take the high set exam. So Missouri options is the kids come here and again they have to have that American government, personal finance and health. You have to take all of your end of course exams that you would normally take at your comprehensive high school. And then after that you're prepared to take the high set of which the Francis House School District will uh, set you up to take the test as well as pay for the first assessment. And we have about 55 students right now in Missouri Options, which is an amazing number of kids. And when we graduate our kids at the end of the year, we usually graduate all 55. We have about a 99% success rate of students that take the high set exam. And the high set exam is a very challenging, difficult exam. And there are a lot of students and, and graduates from high school that probably couldn't take that exam. So we're very proud of our kids. Um, it's a really good program for students who might not think that they're gonna make it. Before I was in this program, I was feeling like I'm never going to graduate. I'm going to not make it anywhere in life. And then now that I'm in this program, I feel like a big weight taken off my shoulders. Uh, graduation rates at Francis Howe Union have continued to improve. Uh, we continue to graduate more and more students every year. Um, last year, I think we graduated 108 kids. This year, we're going to graduate 118 kids. Um, we're very fortunate that the kids that come here uh, realize early on that we're here to help them and that we care about them and that we want them to be successful and they begin to take advantage uh, of all of the opportunities that we provide to them. Phoenix traditionally is uh, an animal that rises out of the ashes. Union was the first high school in the Francis Hall School District, so that's how the school got its name. So it's kind of, you know, one and the other. The, the, the name came from the original high school in the district, and then the mascot came from this idea of rebirth. Before I came here, I was on the verge of dropping out. Like, I asked my mom every day if she would just let me stop going because I hated it and now I actually look forward to coming which uh, made me do a lot better in class. 
I think the fact that everybody knows that everybody's here for a reason lets all of us get along pretty well. So everybody just, you know, exists with each other and lets everybody get what they need to get done. I'm proud to be an FHU student because a lot of people don't get to come here because it's limited space and, uh, you know, being part of a smaller student body and meeting all these people and getting new chances that I wouldn't have gotten elsewhere is uh, something to be happy about. Well, before I came to Union, I used to fail classes quite a bit, and I don't think I've gotten less than an A since I got here. People that don't know what Union's like, they all look at it and they're like, this, this school's full of druggies and people are gonna hurt you, and it's a scary place, but it's really not. It's just a normal school filled with kids who are just trying to graduate. It's not easier, it's just not as much stress from other people in your way. I love Union. Uh, I, re I recommend it to anybody that want to come here, anybody having problem with credits, come here. Please come here because the teaching and the staff will help you graduate. Last year, in two years, my freshman and sophomore year, <laughs> I blew that off. And now, within one year, I got both of those two years plus my junior year in one year. So I got all my credits. So now I only got a couple of credits to get, and then I'm graduating. I got bullied a lot at, at my school, and I came here because I wasn't doing so good in school, and my credits were really, re really not that good. So I came here, and I'm just, you know, I want a chance. Because if I stayed at my old school, I probably would have not, I would have been really behind, and I probably would not have graduated on time. So that's why I came here. Everyone here really just wants to get along as much as possible. Just, you know, just kind of a, a sense of fellowship there, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's, it's nice. They're a good bunch of people. I failed five to ten classes my freshman and sophomore year, so I've caught up and I'm only a half credit behind now, and I'll be able to graduate early, if not on time. I like the people, uh, you know, they're all just like me, you know, just, just trying to learn and, you know, just trying to fit in and, yeah, they're all wonderful people. I, I love it here. I think that really surprises people when they come in. They don't, they don't realize how much like real school it is. Um, and it is, it's real school. It's the kids going from class to class. It's, you know, them having direct instruction, culinary arts, PE, weight training, things like that. And, you know, and socializing with their friends and they have some of the same issues that they have with, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend arguments. I mean, we deal with the same kind of things that they do at the bigger high schools, just on a smaller scale. We allow our students to participate in all of the activities at their home schools. And so if a student wants to be, go to a dance or be in the anime club or the chess club or a book club or anything like that, they can go over to their high school and participate in those activities. Uh, they can be in wrestling, they can be in football, they can do all of those things because the kids that are here are not in trouble. They're simply here because they're a credit deficient by sometimes external factors that have happened in their lives. You know, so I think it's false to think that they're not getting, you know, the same education they are. Uh, they're almost getting a richer education because not only do we provide for them the the you know curriculum part and the educational piece but we also provide a lot of social pieces to kids that they may not have gotten um, in other parts of their life the easy part would be that you're coming into an environment of caring and compassion uh, the hard part is that you still have the curriculum to do and you still have to play the game of credits and there are 24 that you have to get and the thing about our kids is that's 48 classes and sometimes people don't think about that. And so for our kids that come here that have no credits, that's 48 classes. And that's quite a challenge and, a, and an obstacle. And once we get to graduation, it's such a celebration because it was such a mountain to climb. It's not a school for kids who have misbehaved. And, and people often think that. They think this is a school where there's all kinds of kids that have gotten into trouble and they've misbehaved, and that is not at all what we're about. And once you come here and you walk through the hallways and you see what the kids are doing, you, you change your perception so very quickly. And you realize these are just kids. They're kids that are just trying as hard as they can to get their education. But it's just kind of that stigma of that alternative school where, where people don't really understand or they don't know what they don't know until you get here and you're like, wow, this is, this is awesome. This is great. This is the district's best kept secret.